Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. This video is going to be about installing a stamp concrete pad. Now what we're doing, we were hired to install a 34 by 16 by 6 inch thick stamp concrete slab. So these people, the owners could install like a, a swim spa and a hot tub on it. So what me and Darren are doing right now is, is we got, actually we got the excavator to come in here and he dug out all the grass, the loom, and the sod down about 18 inches and then he brought back in some three quarter inch crushed gravel and he compacted it about every six inches he put it in he compacted it down so it was really really hard he did a really good job getting it nice and flat for us so what we're doing now is we're putting up the two by eight forms and the reason we're using two by eights is because we're going to be putting some two inch styrofoam down on the sub base in Maine you know we get winter for about a good winter for about three months out of the year so the ground freezes and what the two inches of styrofoam does is it helps prevent the ground from freezing under the concrete so we under a lot of our slabs whether they're garage slabs patios pool decks or whatever we do that's outside we we end up putting some styrofoam under a lot of them so when we use it when we do a six inch slab it's just a little easier to use two by eights put in the two inches of styrofoam and then you know raise up the two by eight to your six inch thick concrete so what me and darren knows we got the forms all up 34 by 16 got them squared got them got to run our strings we we use our metal pins to pin them in place and then the laser to get it to grade and then now we're ready to put down the two inch two inch styrofoam so i mean this styrofoam is really expensive now we happened to buy this batch right here for about 37 bucks a sheet for a 4 by 8 sheet. And this was the last of that batch. They went up 10 bucks a sheet right after we bought this. And then we priced it again for another job. And it went up another 10 bucks a sheet. So, if, I mean, the styrofoam up here is getting really, really expensive. Which, you know, the stamp concrete is expensive enough. Generally... For most of the stamp concrete we do, we're in the eighteen to twenty dollar per square foot range. You know, then you're when you add in two inch styrofoam under it, you're adding another three or four bucks a square foot to you know buy it, install it. It's just it's getting real crazy. But anyway, there's not much we can do to control those prices. But we're just lucky and very um, grateful that we have all this work, so we can just keep working through it. We're also putting in a two inch, uh, two foot matter rebar in this thing. We're using number four bar here, and we're gonna just put some little pieces of, of brick under it to hold it up into the concrete. Uh, we like using the little looped wires right there in our yo-yos, what we call a little yo-yo, to tie the rebar together. And we'll tie, generally on a slab this size, we'll, is, we'll tie all the all the crosses together and get everything nice and tight and get it up to grade so when we go to pour it you know it doesn't want to move around so the installation you know it two guys can install I mean the forms and all this in about two to three hours generally if the subgrades really really good and then once we have it to this point then we're ready to pour concrete so we'll call the concrete company tell them how many yards we need where we need to go, what day we want it, and then we'll get it poured, and that's what we're going to do right now. Back up there, riding around. I had to bring him in. Okay, I had to bring him in here. I saw you. I okay. see you on the boat. He's out riding around. I, I had to bring him in. I know you guys are in a hurry, but, you know, we got big business going on. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. He'll be right here eventually. Does he not have a GPS? He does, but Alexa must be on the pipe again or something. I don't know. <laughs> That rebar up a little bit. You know? I'm gonna square this up, then if he's got more, I'll change it.
There we go. Well, second truck's lost, so I've been trying to talk to him and get him over here. What's that like? I'm talking to myself. He's not he's not too far, but he just doesn't know where he is. Hold up a sec. There he is. Perfect, perfect. Ryan called me. Yeah. When I was at the Y. Oh, really? So there was so much traffic. Oh. Around, so I yeah, yeah. Around. No, no, no worries. You're here. Wonder how many of these shoots I've put on in my life in 40 years. 2,000 probably. She goes. So each of these trucks had about six yards on it. Now, one thing about being six inches thick is I think it's actually a little easier to pour a thicker slab. Me a little bit for a second. Okay. Just a little bit, and I'll scrape it. Yes, sir. We'll lock that, Mike. Yeah, lock it. All right, so I don't have to scrape it. All right, we got plenty. Got plenty. We're gonna try to get you over where Brian washed. Sure. I should probably come out and watch the car, shouldn't I? As you get over there. Would you please. Yeah. Could have been a little hot, though. Well. It's easy to get to it. Concrete's hard underneath. Top's still just a little bit slimy. Trying to work that little bit of slimy water down that other end so we can just float it right off. Let's do it. The notch that way. It doesn't really matter. Especially on a slab like this, but we'll just pick that way. That looks pretty good. Looks square on the form.
Now, when we use this liquid release, we add a little bit of powdered release in it, colored powdered release, shake it up in the can, and that gives us our colored liquid release. No, Luke swallows it. What flavor is that, anyway? Now the one good thing about using liquid release is it doesn't make much of a mess when it, when you come back. Obviously, right now there's no powder anywhere, and then when you come back to wash it off, it's a lot faster and a lot cleaner. That's what we really like about the liquid. It looks pretty good and the release is starting to dry up. Got good texture. So we'll see. Hey everyone, so we're back to seal this stamp concrete pad. We got it washed, we got it sawed, so it's been drying for a couple days, it's all ready to go. So I'm just gonna use my little blower and blow it off, and then I'm gonna spray three coats of sealer on it. We're using Decocrete's D1 sealer. You can see it right there. Stamp concrete sealer, that's what we like. <laughs> I'll just make my day tomorrow a little shorter. Good day for it too. How'd it come out, pretty good? Yeah. Well, it looks great, thanks for all your work. Thank you, yeah. Just about five gallons on this 34 by 16 pad, so probably a good four gallons anyway we use. I'm gonna have some left over. I just want to make sure I didn't have to stop on that last that last hit. I'll probably have to spray some back in there. Thank you. 